I'm Wayne Passion from the Reggae Kitchen Show. You might remember me from Recipe Sriches on the Food Network. Well, today I have a chance to bring you some of my own flavors with my own cooking style, the Reggae Kitchen food. Reggae Kitchen cooking style and things go crazy. Today I'm gonna turn off the kitchen with some dumpling and mackerel. Let me tell you something. <laughs> And we're gonna cook some things every Sunday. You'll watch the Reggae Kitchen show. I'm gonna turn up the place with some authentic Jamaican cooking and some reggae music and some fun and some surprises with some people and some of this and some of that. Bismo, let me tell you something. I play some of the things Reggae Kitchen style. Check it out. Now, reggae kitchen. I'm gonna show the way to put my pan, all of the ingredients, them. It will cost no only for money. Today we are going to sell our tin mackerel and dumpling and I'm going to throw some other things in the pot and show now. Simple things. So look on this. Check this out. Today, we are going to do this thing called mackerel. Some people call it dirty gal. Some people call it iron casket. Some people call it tin boom. All kind of things. But this is nice, it's delicious and it's cheap. You can't afford it, so forget all of the steak and the lobster for now. We're going to do this. So watch it. Put it on the pot. Turn up the stove. So now the water boiling up. For the ground food. The pot getting ready. It's getting warm, so let me just put a bit of oil. In this, you're going to need some scallion and some onion and you're going to need some tomato and some thyme but the way me stay sometimes I'm going to put in a pimento seed and some garlic and with the food now with the dumpling, the flour dumpling we're going to have some plantains and I'm going to drop in one and two of them potato yeah. and you know nice it up with the flour so the plate look good Right? So, or as you say, write it down and make sure some remember they need some salt and some black pepper. So now, I'm going to get the things ready for the mackerel, which is the onion and these things. So first, I'm going to cut up the onion for you. So bad the man cut off on the hand, I want to do it this. Please don't cut off on the hand. I just have my plastic bag there. Need my plastic bag right just so to make sure so I put the things there. Yeah. And we're going to get some scallion, some Jamaican scallion. Let's put it in here so I can just you know, get everything ready one time. I'll put a little pot in at a time. Right, we need some tomato. Watch out that to me and so make sure it's clean and we make sure that everything you're putting in the pot, wash it off and make sure it's clean, right? As I always say, wash your meats and your vegetables, right? Before you cook it. So now all the ingredients I want to put with the mackerel is ready to go in at the pot. We're going to use both two cups of flour in like this. And you know, two cups of flour, I think we make more about 10 dumplings. Watch me. I'm going to put some calm meal in it. Grandma and I love me for this. So, with the two cups of flour, we'll add a little less than a half a cup of the calm meal. This will give the dumpling some balance. You can see here, that I put the cornmeal in the flour. And before you do any mix up with any water, you need to add some salt. So, in this mixture, you'll put about a half a teaspoon of salt. Don't over salt the flour. And mix it up. Now, Remember this, if you nail them too long, get a gloves and put it on by your hand. Nobody needs the flower, it's a long nails, right? I 
and be careful of them long eyelash they are dropping at the floor. What do you have to do? Right, but here we say I put some water in So, it. here I start it out with about probably a quarter cup of water. I mix it round. You will see definitely that you need some more water. So, you just throw some more water in the bowl. And I'm not afraid. I didn't say I got quiet it. Because I said they boil it, you'll probably do it over again. Or just make it right. So look, I put some more water in the thing. Almost ready for my hand. My finger nail them clean. My hand wash. So now you can see the texture of beer in the dumpling. You can see how it's there. And you can see it really need to knead up now, you know, for rub up together. And just work him back the dough. And if it's still too soggy, put a little more flour and you're going to put some other things in the fat. You can add just a little more salt in your water. Like add a teaspoon or a teaspoon depends on how much more food you're putting in and how much water you're boiling in the pot. So now the dough is ready just to put it on the pot the right way. See it here? It's firm, it's nice, I saw me like it because boy, I love it just dropping on my belly. Boom! Right, I want to get some oil and drop it on the pot. Right? So we're going to drop a little tip of oil in the pot. Oh, that much. So things not stick, stick on together too much, right? So now we could just make some dumpling put on the pot. Right, so pop off a piece of the dough. Round it up in your hand. Round it up in your hand, that part of your hand you saw. When you round up in your hand, use a part and squeeze it down. Grab the dumpling so, and go clockwise or roundwise, anything you want to call it. And just make the dumpling round. Your dumpling now for perfect, perfect, perfect. Right? And you just drop it in the pot. So boom! And lick it in the so. So now, I'm gonna add the other food them in the pot, the grown provisions. And today we're gonna do some planting, some ripe planting. So I'm gonna teach you how to cut the planting. So here, let me use a different one. I cut off the head of the planting, right? Cut off the head. Watch your finger. Nobody cut off your finger and blame boy we in passion. Watch your finger and nobody talk about we in passion tell you to cut your finger. Come here, sir, come here, sir, come here, sir. So just mark down the planting. But both so. Nobody go all the way down there. And just pull off the skin. You see? Easy, 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 easy. That one I done mark already. Watch it. Just I pull off the skin. Watch it. Easy, easy, easy. Go on, check the dumpling. And make sure say it kinda of firm up, you know, too soft still, you know? So you can just turn them in that in the pot. And you can see say alright then. Them ready, them firm, time, we can drop the planting, right? So watch, you either can drop in the planting this way and the pot in the skin them, right? Or, you can just go and cut up the planting them in little cubes like this, right? And add them to your pot. Right? And while you wait a little bit first, I mean the dumpling boil about five minutes and up a little bit. Because the planting is quicker to cook. So you know what? I cook all the dumpling and the planting at the same time and then you plant the mash up and then you blame Wayne Passion. Don't blame Wayne Passion. So now the Irish mash now we're gonna peel some Irish mash. Wash out the then. Right? So so the potato, right, and the planting, them cook easier than the dumpling, faster than the dumpling, right? So now all that is in the pot bubbling down, we're going to go over to the mackerel and get the mackerel ready. Remember to cover up your pot at the opener right here where we need to open up the mackerel right here. And we're just going to just do it up. If you notice, I wash off the tin top first because sometimes the tin top 
have dirt on it. So I need a bowl. I put them in. Mm. Yeah. So now the dumpling and food is doing quite well. As you can see, doing quite well. Remember, cover up the pot, turn down the stove, because flour dumpling will burn. Anything in the pot will burn, so turn it down. So now the oil is ready for the mackerel. So let me just put in the something them. The ingredients them. I remember what your ingredient was. Scallion and thyme. Onion, tomato. Some garlic. And me, my style, because I love it, is some fermento seeds. And We're going to put a little bit of salt tonight because the mackerel them free cook. I go and look for my dumpling them over dumpling them nice. To all the dumpling lovers, say dumpling them over dumpling them nice look on them. Right? Dumpling them are going good. Cover up at the pot. So now the ingredients in the pot ready to get the mackerel, right? So now we're putting the mackerel in the pot. Right? The mackerel here, you can, you know, open them out, cause them have, you know, a little soft bone in them. Some people don't like the bone in them things. Some people don't mind it. Although some people say, eat the mackerel bone, it's good for you, it's healthy. So, no one has said the thing's easy to cook. Nothing to it, right? Tin mackerel, Couple of liquor ingredients, tomato, onion, and them things, they all see the things. Put in the pot. The pot are bubble up again hot. <laughs> so your mackerel are boiled down. Your dumpling are bubble up in the pot. So we can check it. You can check your plantings. You know, sometimes people go in at them pot and take out the planting because they don't want them planting boil out and broke up. So you can check your planting and say if you're ready, this can take a few more minutes. Your dumpling can take a few more minutes. I just want to remember to go to iOS Music and get all of the latest in a dance hall. So in a short minute, we're going to be plating this food and show you how it's pretty. This is for my ladies, yeah. my babies. Whoa. I'm falling, darling, you do good for me. And remember the reggae kitchen jerk sauce, Slavia. All different kind of flavor, regular, hot, pepper free. It's all there. I'm falling. Take nice and ready up. Right before we're done, the mackerel we have to put some black pepper. So this is some fresh grown black pepper grown up. Something to open the pot, be careful. And you can use the spoon and then we'll cut the dumpling and see. So when you cut the dumpling, you can see it cook right through. There's no dough, like dry dough, look. So this is ready to go. That's how you check your dumpling. Our dumpling takes about 20 minutes for boiling another pot. Right? Sometimes you can make it go a bit longer. Right here you can see say, the plantings are ready to go. You cut it. It goes through it nice and soft easily. You don't want to over boil it. Feet ready, feet done. And your potatoes. You can see say you can put right through. Ready to go. So we can start plating our dish now. Then plate our dish. So, nowadays you don't leave dumpling in a 
a plate has just a dumpling like that. Grab a piece of plantain to the left. Grab a little piece of potato here to the right. Then I can take the skin of the potato off. Take it out. I like my skin on. That's how you can peel the potato. So that's ready to go. Mmm, look at that. Ready? So we're just gonna plate the mackerel on top of this. You know, put a little bit of the seasoning, a little bit of the thing over it. A little bit of the things over it and I tell you, mm, this looks so good. So good, so delicious. And here we have it. A simple dish. Took way under an hour to do. And look how pretty and healthy it look.